front so you keep looking back left. Just going to make sure you know where you are all the time in relation to this curve on the left here. Use the slip rail just to build up our speed. Sideways plancher? Yeah. yeah. Dropping the clutch. Did you still feel a little quick maybe? One or two miles per hour maybe. Yes. Yeah, very good, very good. We've made loads more progress than I expected. Yeah. At the roundabout, we'll turn left, first exit. So, check the mirror, check that mirror left, signal. Pop it into second, just because I'm going to roll around here, and then just straight into first. I should have gone straight into first, really, because I knew that I couldn't go there straight away. Good to see you keep looking back left. Just going to make sure you know where you are all the time in relation to this curve on the left here. Going through the MSPSL as you normally would, mirrors, yeah. signal.
as the responsibility really mainly is all on me really at the end of the day. Yeah. Um, so that's why, why I'm doing it. Temporary traffic lights. So do you think you might need to think about that just a little earlier next yeah. time to incorporate it in? Yeah. Because it, it's really the, the thickness on your braking coming in, isn't it? Yeah. Good job on the carriageway. There's not... I, 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 there's not lots of things I'm thinking, oh, what, let, we need to talk about this, we need to talk about that. So that's, that's good. Any questions from yourself? Anything you want to go over? Um, obviously, coming around the islands... Um, Obviously, or was it coming off the iron mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The sideways glance was necessary. I love the early mirror checking and keeping the speed up. Because the car just come out of the junction and the left. So if you hadn't kept the speed up, it had caught up and it'd been very difficult to get across yeah. an exit. So I'm quite happy with all of that, to be honest. Signal timing and that. Say, but how would you use that to know that it's a minimum two second time gap? So you get a 
set yourself a fixed point. Yep. So when what? that car goes past it, then you start only a four what? breaks a two second rule. Mm -hmm. At the end, turn left, please. Okay, so I'm going to check my mirror, check the inside mirror, signal. Good. I'm going to pop it into first round here. Check to my left first. And then the right. Get in there, aren't we, Richard? Building that confidence, I can see it. I think next time you'll go on then. Yeah. At the traffic lights, Richard, turn right, please, there. You know, so, check my mirror, signal, and position myself a bit to the, to the right. Mm -hmm. So if it was raining, how would you, what's the time distance for a raining? Uh, four seconds. Okay. And then ice is ten seconds. Okay. Well, probably want a bit more on ice just because. down too early you kind of feel the need to get it in and it's not probably time speed wise yeah just check that left minute that's it just before you move on particularly if you're going to steer left a bit there's a cyclist at the side which they, they would they'd undertake you wouldn't they yeah uh, you just want to know about that so almost like a rainbow check before you move off cross all the mirrors if you like working as a driving instructor have you ever wondered if you'd like to know more then you can buy a copy of my book what's it really like working as a driving instructor in the link here it's 99 pence all monies raised from the sale of these books will go towards new equipment so a foot camera different cameras different shots making better videos so if you've ever wondered what's it really like working as a driving instructor and you like some in-depth insights from somebody who's been actually doing the job for some time then hit the link here and in the description below let's get back to the video cheers guys another quick check in the mirror just there sometimes I think it's good to have a series of checks you know through this slowing down phase yeah and just before you come to a stop I think it's a good one as well just to make sure that they are stopping behind you because you could always roll a couple more foot couldn't you yeah if they hadn't realized but you unless you checked you wouldn't know how that situation's developing
they're filtering or you know, the two lanes are merging to one, aren't they? Yeah. We probably should have a chat about that. It's 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 in its own way it's quite complex and it's a number of factors that went in there that yeah. we could that we could look at. I'm glad you brought it up because I think I was gonna as well. Uh, nothing was wrong that was done. But it's how did they perceive you speeding up to get past them? You know it's a merge not very far away. Yeah. They know it they probably they're probably a local. Yeah. Pro probably. They probably know there's a merge. So they probably made your life a little bit difficult just because you wanted to get past them. So you've got to factor in, was it unreasonable how they were getting up to speed? Was it too slow? You're already in the right. So rather than slowing down and talking behind them, did it make sense to speed up past them? Was it an effort to speed up past them? I felt like, as I was obviously first came round in... Sorry to interrupt. No, I'm going to turn right, third exit of the roundabout. And then signal. Just because... So signal to say yeah. in a position. I know it's about 12 car lengths, but it's sometimes you need to break that mould, you know. You could cancel it and reconfirm it if you wish. So what do you reckon he's gonna do, Richard? Sorry, yeah, he's going straight on into he's gonna. He's, he's already over the line just about. <laughs> okay, so again, the car behind me has got a good distance. Um, again, this, this residential or urban built up area. So, the very fact you're thinking about that, he sped off really quick, he's not thinking about his speed, he ain't bothered if you're doing 35, 37, yeah. 30, he ain't bothered. But the fact you're thinking about it, you're not going to follow him subconsciously. No. And do this and mirror him. I say him, I know it's a him this time. I've got a habit of saying him <laughs> rather than them. I think everybody does to an extent. Yeah, so I just want to analyse that with you. We'll pull up briefly in a moment, just mm -hmm. analyse what, what went down on the... Uh, on Harvey Road there, just before the merge. So we'll take the next road on the left, it's just about where that car is now. Good job with the clutch. Did he still feel a little quick, maybe? Probably like a one or two miles per hour, maybe. Yes. Yeah, which made the steering, you had to really force yeah. the steering. Not much in it, but I think maybe just get a firmer grip of the brake earlier and that'll yeah. make it smoother for when the clutch lifts and comes off as well. Okay. Just bring it all in before the turn. Don't forget, you've got to get these learners proper under control with this, or else you'll, <laughs> they won't be able to compensate with you, like your, with your steering, do you see yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So to know how to correct your own is crucial. So I just pulled over here just because that car was yeah. coming a little bit quick and looking up. Don't think there was anywhere they, they could have pulled in anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good planning. Yeah, it looked uh, mm -hmm. very, very busy down here. Could you pull in on the left before the red Ford Focus if this is um, a safe spot, a convenient spot? Well, Richard, we've made tons of progress today. Mm. Uh, much, we've got much further than I expected. Let's just talk about that then. Is there a right, is there a wrong answer? I'm not sure at this point. Let's talk mm. about it. Let's see if we can get any further into it. Just analyse it. Because these discussions are important. So, like I said, you were in the right hand lane because you come off the roundabout, you're still in the right. Yeah. Fair enough. Car comes left. I wouldn't say you were hanging about. I wouldn't say you were thrashing it. I was getting up to the speed, the speed limit. Now, either that car drives like that all the time, or it's doing it like you say, to close the gap here yeah. and be awkward. There was nowhere else I could have gone, so I don't know why they would do that. Do you 
know what I mean? Mm. I'll, act, I'll act come over at some point, other than that, slam on the brakes and wait for that to go past. Yeah. I think you were always in front of it, weren't you? They just yeah. weren't giving you your, and I'll say this now, introduce it, the bubble. Do you know what I mean by the bubble? Is that the distance in between the car behind and you? It's like your two second yeah. in front and behind kind of thing. Yeah, because when I was looking in the mirror to see where he was, because I was thinking about coming across, because obviously the, the, the mirror's to one, I felt like I didn't, there wasn't enough room for me to pull in. Mm. I felt like I was, it was going to be tight. You wouldn't want to be braking as you're coming in, would you, because they haven't left the space? No. There was only one more option, and I don't know if you've considered this. As you were moving off from the pedestrian crossings, mm -hmm. if you see it giving it power on as well, you'll know because you're not. It's not losing your. It's not. You're not losing it out your peripheral. You'll still see it out the corner of your eye. Sort of here. Ease off and yeah. let them go first. Yeah. That's the other option. When I pulled off, though, I felt like they were pulling off quite slowly. Yeah. Which is why I. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. So you would you would get your foot down. Yeah. I think I would have done the same. Because a lot of the time I'll exit roundabouts and I'll still be in the right hand lane. Sometimes I'll go in the left, but sometimes I'll stay in the right mm. and then I'll merge later. Anyway, it's just something to reflect on, yeah. isn't it? Your job really is not ever to cause anybody to change speed or direction. Of course sometimes it's necessary, you know, or it's unavoidable, but in, in generally speaking that should be the thought process in your head, not to cause yeah. anybody to change speed or direction. But I believe what they did was either they're not thinking about anything or they kind of had a bit of an issue with you overtaking them. Maybe. Sometimes it dents people's pride. <laughs> Obviously you reverse back two car lamps. Well with this, it's different. You sat on the right, you can see through the glass, and I'm ah, guessing okay. you can see a little bit more than me because you sat that see, side yeah, of yeah. the road ahead. So, so I'm to pull out from, from here then. Absolutely. Um, your learner drivers will be asked to do this on their driving test. It's called an angle start where you're reasonably close or within one car length behind a vehicle in front, mm -hmm. and then you move off around it. It requires clutch control, good steering, <laughs> but you don't want to end up over here into them cars. Yeah. Um, so yeah, might as well get used to, to okay. doing that really. So it clutch down into first. Look, if you needed to reverse back, that's all that's not that's not no, wrong. I feel I can I can do that. Yeah. That's, it's yeah. not wrong either to reverse yeah. back it, but whatever you you know. Okay, so just checking.
matter that time, but it could, you know, it can do. Yeah. I'm just trying to give you examples, really. Because what I don't do is get my, you know, like you're deciding, do I need a signal? I think that's important to get across to your customers as well, because otherwise you teach them to be robots and, and, and not think. Can you get Mark down on the test for that? Just signal when you don't need to? On the um, part two test, I believe you can. Yeah. Less so with learners because they aren't looking for a high level of finesse and everything. It's just a basic level of safety. Yeah. You, you know, which is why if you're a good instructor, you generally they'll pass every. You know, mostly you'll have passes because you're training to be good thinkers. And good thinkers will always pass. Can we turn left, please? First exit. Good. That's good anticipation. It looks something done all right, doesn't it? 
exhaust was jiggling around. So you mentioned an, an earlier view around these bends earlier. Yeah. What would you do then? How would you change this positioning to right bends? Where would you position? Uh, move it to the left. That's it. So come left, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Check your mirror, you'll see a big gap. Yeah. That's it. A lot of people do that, they tend to hook the middle. Check your mirror, investigate to see the gap and get into the space. second then yeah I think that's just old habits yes it'll be a hard one to break I'm guessing though you've not done bad at all today with that I'll, but it's I'll be working on that in, in my own time on that definitely in the van because I drive all day so good on you and you can always get in touch if you've got any questions or anything at mm. any time um, you know don't wait till the next session sort of thing
Yeah, so basically what we could have done then was was what we should have done was clutch down later. Okay. You know when it's actually time for the gear that you need? Yeah. And what you might find is that you need clutch earlier. Well, that's probably that probably means you've braked too much too early. Right. That's demanding that you put the clutch down because they're rumbling, so I want to try and do it a bit later. Yeah. So utilise the, and this is what a lot of people don't do, the off the gas phase. In just the engine braking before you start braking. Okay. Decide when you're going to start braking, when you're going to put the clutch down. So, how have you found your first session? Yeah, good, I think. Um, obviously, like I said before, it's just a bit of... It's just tweaking it, so I'm taking the next step in my driving into it, you know, it's... Um, but, yeah, I find it good, and um, I feel like I've done quite well. Yeah, I would second that. Um, have you learnt plenty? Um, Compared to what you knew three yeah. hours ago. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Good stuff. And is there anything at this point that you're unsure of? Um, it's just obviously using my clutch uh, and, like you say, my engine braking when it comes up to junctions and stuff. Um, but now I know what you want me to do. I will go away and, and yeah. do that. So when I come back, you'll probably see a bit of a difference from mm. today. Yeah. I'm sure, and uh, just to let you know, there's 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 no dead set way of doing anything. It just needs to work, and it needs to be efficient, and it needs to be efficient in that it doesn't ever potentially lead you to something that could develop into a hazard. Yeah. Um, if it doesn't, if it's, if it's not any of that, then it's not worth me mentioning some things. So some things I just won't mention. Um, okay, yeah. So we just need to. What I'm going to do in future as well. Is I'm going to get you to set a goal for each session okay. so that you can monitor within yourself or know that you've made the progress that we set out to achieve just so every session has purpose and that we're always working towards something whether it be we set a number of mini goals during the session yeah. or we change the goal or but but that's quite important and it's important to do with your learners as well I didn't Absolutely. do it didn't do it today with you because you didn't really know well you know what to kind of expect but it's, yeah I didn't obviously know going into it fully but now you're kind of on that wavelength now. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start incorporating that. Yeah, very good, very good. We, we've made loads more progress than I That's good. Uh, expected. Yeah. For those watching, this is a 50 hour course and um, with a, a guaranteed place with a driving school at the end. Big change, big thing. Mm. So thanks for investing yourself and your trust into me and go to driving school. And as I say, if there's anything at all that I can help you with between now and uh, the, next session. the next session, then just get in touch, whether it be anything at all to do with the process or the actual driving of element yeah. of it. Next time it'll just be simulating some faults, seeing if you can identify them, picking okay. them up. So that's going to require a, re require a real good understanding of MSPSL. So keep working your way through driving the essential skills. There's nothing really stand outish that I'd say really go and work on this yeah, just 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 get it but just do it but as, a, as a drive now as normal yeah think about just all the little bits I've said to you maybe yeah. about the positioning like what I've just said to you keep sense uh, you might be hugging the right and think you center on a right bend yeah check the mirrors and just see where just you see are where I'm in. Yeah, stuff. 
Yeah, just keep doing everything you've been doing, really, and, yeah. and it'll become apparent, I think, especially if you watch those videos in conjunction with... Yeah, I'm going to watch them tonight. Well, pleasure working with you today. Yeah, nice it's been one. good. And uh, I'll see you, speak to you soon. Yes. All right? Yep. Yeah. Cheers. If you like today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Do share it and consider subscribing for future content that's related to this, whether it be instructor training, driving lesson videos, tutorials, tips, mock tests, and all stuff related to the Derby Test Centre and area. I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Cheers to Rich for letting us record his journey. Thank you very much. Thank you.